Hi, it's Melissa here, and in this episode of Ready to Go, we're off to Thailand. For this two-week trip to Thailand, we flew 19 hours from Montreal to Bangkok with a short layover in Qatar. We spent a few days exploring the capital of Bangkok, then took a regional flight to Phuket for some adventures and sightseeing. From Phuket, we then took a ferry to the beautiful Phi Phi Islands. And for our last stop, we traveled cross-country to reach the island of Koh Samui. Stay tuned as at the end of this video, I will share more details on how you can book some of the activities and accommodations that we experienced. If you like this video, don't be shy and please give it a thumbs up. We started off our Thai journey in Bangkok, visiting the Grand Palace. It's one of the most iconic landmarks in the country and serves as a symbol of Thailand's rich cultural heritage. We are here at the Grand Palace in Bangkok. And we're, we're going to make our way through this ocean of people to get our tickets. <laughs> Though originally constructed in 1782 as the official residence of the royal family, today the palace is used for hosting royal ceremonies and welcoming the king's guests and foreign dignitaries. The Grand Palace complex includes several beautifully landscaped gardens designed to complement the ornate architecture and create a serene atmosphere amidst the bustling city of Bangkok. Admission to the Grand Palace is free for Thai citizens. Admission fee for tourists is 500 baht, approximately equivalent to $14 USD at the time of this publishing. Hi, we're on Khao San Road, where it seems like everything happens at the same time. Since our hotel room is right up here, we're obviously not going to be able to sleep. So we got to be out here. Some street food, maybe not here, but somewhere else. Chak markets it's huge and they sell everything from clothes to food to things for the hot like everything anything you want to buy they sell it here Wat Arun and Wat Po also called Temple of the Reclining Buddha is the largest temple complex in Thailand known for its impressive collection of Buddha statues and its iconic reclining Buddha measuring 46 meters in length. This gilded statue depicts the Buddha lying on his side, representing his entry into Nirvana. The temple itself dates from the 13th century, but looked very different in those days. Only around 1830 was the reclining Buddha placed by order of King Rama III. The temple complex covers a vast area and includes various buildings, pavilions, and serene gardens that provide a peaceful atmosphere for both worship and exploration. The entrance fee is 200 baht, approximately $5 US. For our next stop, we took a 90-minute flight on Thai Airways from Bangkok to Phuket. Patong Beach in Phuket is renowned for its energetic nightlife scene. We're at Patong Bangla Road. Let's see what we can find. Bangla Road really comes alive after sunset. It's lined with numerous bars, nightclubs, live music venues and vibrant street performances. On our second day in Phuket, we discovered the excellent and very fun 
Home Thai Cooking School. They offer daily classes at 11 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m., and you can learn to cook anything from one single dish to a full meal. Some classes also include a tour of the local market where you can actively select your fresh ingredients. I highly recommend attending a class if you're in Phuket as it will give you a better understanding of what makes Thai cuisine so unique and delicious. In our class, each person got to cook a different dish and we all enjoyed our meal together afterwards. The Big Buddha is one of Phuket's most iconic landmarks. The colossal statue stands approximately 45 meters tall. The Big Buddha is not only a tourist attraction, but also a significant spiritual site. It represents Buddhist teachings of compassion, peace, and enlightenment. The hill where the Big Buddha is situated offers panoramic views of Phuket town, the coastline, and the Andaman Sea. Visitors can enjoy stunning vistas of the surrounding landscape from the viewpoint near the statue. Admission to the Big Buddha is free, however, we do recommend making a small contribution as it was fully built from donations. Now my absolute favorite excursion in Thailand was the boat tour of Pangna Bay where we got to discover a series of very unique islands. So Wadika, that's high in Thai. We're off to our tour of Pangna Bay on a speedboat and we're going to check out James Bond Island and a whole other bunch of cool islands. Our first stop was at Panak Island where we canoed our way through a fantastic cave system and mangrove forest. Next stop was exploring the unusual but interesting floating village near Koh Panyi. Our final mission of the day was to recapture the man with the golden gun on James Bond Island. I'd say mission completed. The PP Archipelago is located in the Andaman Sea off the southwestern coast of Thailand. It's a popular destination known for its stunning natural beauty, crystal clear waters, vibrant marine life and lively nightlife. Koh Phi Phi Don is the largest and only inhabited island in the PP Archipelago. It lies between the larger island of Phuket and the western coast of Thailand. Visitors can reach Koh Phi Phi Don by taking a ferry from Phuket, Krabi or other nearby islands. Koh Phi Phi is very walkable with so much to discover and most hotels located directly along the stunning beaches. It's a perfect blend of authentic local markets and shops mixed in with some commercial tourist comforts. They even have a 7-Eleven and nightly beach parties. This scenic viewpoint is one of the most iconic on the island, offering a panoramic vista of Tonzai Bay, the bustling main town, and the surrounding cliffs. The viewpoint can be reached by a relatively steep hike that takes about 20 to 30 minutes from the main village. You can't get a bad picture here. On our search for the most beautiful beach in Thailand, we headed to Long Beach, which can be reached by a short hike from the main town or via longtail boat ride from Tonzai Bay. The walk is relatively easy and takes around 20 to 30 minutes while the boat ride offers a picturesque journey along the coastline. We got to enjoy fresh coconuts and safe swimming in smooth crystal clear waters. A major wow moment of this trip. We opted to hike there and then ride back on a long tail boat. Our traveling time from Koh Phi Phi to Koh Samui was approximately 7 hours total. We took a ferry to Krabi, a cross-country bus, and then another ferry to Koh Samui, located in the Gulf of Thailand. On our way from Koh Phi Phi to Krabi, where we'll take a bus, and then another ferry to end in Koh Samui later today. As this was our last stop before returning to Bangkok, we opted for some fun in the sun at the Ark Bar Resort on Chaweng Beach. Ark Bar Beach Club entertains guests and visitors with international DJs playing daytime around the party pool and then nighttime at the beach party. I was pretty amazed at the skills of these fire dancers performing every night. Now Koh Samui is not just a party island but also a great place to explore beaches, to join excursions for snorkeling and jungle tours as well as discovering shops and restaurants along the main road. 
We had some of our favorite Thai food here in Koh Samui. And for you coffee lovers, you'll definitely want to taste the real Thai coffee, either hot or chilled. As promised, if you're planning a trip to Thailand and want to enjoy some of the same activities and accommodations, I'm including links in the description below for the following five highlights. For Bangkok, you'll see the link for buying tickets to the Grand Palace and a link for a tour of two very unusual markets, the Railway Market and the Floating Market. For Phuket, you have the link to Pom Cooking School as well as the link to book the boat excursion to Pang Na Bay. I strongly recommend this one, it's really a bucket list item. For Koh Samui, we had such a fun time at this resort, so I included the link to the Ark Bar Beach Resort for you to consider. I really hope you enjoyed my highlights of Thailand, and my wish for you is to be able to explore this beautiful country and all the other countries you're dreaming of. To make sure you never miss out on new content, please click that subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you're always ready to go.